All right, we got a couple, just a brief, brief video here today is my plan at least. For I got a few, uh, a few pickups. This is not necessarily the gaming related. These are a pair of high quality plastic, plastic cutting uh, nippers, which is not actually the tool I was trying to buy. So, but this is a little bit of a happy accident because I would not mind having a uh, better pair of plastic nippers for when I'm working inside consoles and such. Um, traditional diagonal cutters and uh, are, are not definitely not as nice can't cut into uh, some of the close corners and whatnot so uh, this will definitely be a, uh, and then flush cutters uh, like the little ones I have the uh, they have a limited capacity so uh, this is these open up as uh, as wide as diagonal cutters do but I have a real fine point to them so uh, I'll be adding that to the to the electronic bench there for sure Wario Land Shake It. Uh, I've never played this game before, but uh, it's one of the Wario games I didn't have for a console I do have, so I figured it was a must a must get. Uh, it was pretty reasonable, too. In pretty good shape. This is not as nice, not quite as nice as I'd like, but uh, oh well. And then uh, these two I definitely snagged for a pretty good price, I feel. Um, just uh, some unboxing the first time here now. And uh, it seems like this is in real nape, and indeed it is. It's been a being a launch game. Definitely, someone took good care of it, and whatnot. So I feel like this definitely came from a had to have come from a fellow collector, basically. So, yep, Pilot Wing 64. It's uh, complete and in good shape. And got a uh, Doom 64 as well. I'll be doing a uh, N64 collection video here soon, as has been requested by several people. Yeah, both these are in real nice shape. I definitely got a good deal on these. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Another quick N64 pickup here. I got Lego Racers. Uh, of course, I already have the cartridge, so I did manage to find the the box and the manual, both in a really nice mint condition, uh, from different sources. Surprisingly, as uh, this auction for the box caught my eye and it was at a good price only had a couple bidders and was uh, about to close in the next day or so so I put it on my watch list and sure enough was able to uh, snag it for a really good price got it for uh, quite a bit less than the going rate and then the uh, sure enough knowing I was I was gonna try to, to win the auction on the box I went about looking for a nice manual and uh, this one is again absolutely crispy um, yeah so got both of those for a good combined got a uh a good complete box price i already have the cartridge so i didn't need that and uh wasn't particularly looking for this one it was just uh one of those oppor opportunities to add another uh, another game to the collection um they said both of these are in really mint mint condition uh box is really nice here uh there's a slight crease on the top of this one that actually wasn't to the, from the pictures it didn't look like it was there i noticed the outside shipping box got crushed a little bit by usps but it's kind of just the way it goes um i, I was kind of i kind of almost anticipated that to be honest with you i'm like i wonder how good this guy is going to ship the box and it really wasn't he did a pretty good job with it he, he I don't know, could have done a little bit better i guess a little stiffer box but um you know it's a box in a box sort of thing. So and that's, uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. It's you know, exactly the size of it. So anyways, so that's a new addition to the collection there and I'm glad to have it. I'll be sliding it on the shelf, put it in a box protector and we'll have another, uh, another complete box. Does Lego City recognize Israel as a legitimate state? A man has fallen into the river in Lego City! Okay, got a couple new game pickups today. First off, we got this uh, Brawler 64 controller, which some people apparently like a lot. Um, I've never used one before, but I figured I have pretty much every other N64 controller you could have, and this is obviously a, a modern one. Uh, they made it, you know, kind of uh, Xbox or modern controller style layout, so uh, I figured I would try it out. So they said some people really uh, uh, really think this is the, the way to go or whatever, but I, don't, I think I'll probably stick with the normal one for, for the most part, but maybe if uh, I have a 
a guest, a younger person perhaps might uh, appreciate this this controller layout really if the trident is just too much for the handle. So this one is new in box. Uh, I bought it off of eBay, but it is you know, yeah, new. So yeah, I'll check that out. I'm not sure if I'll get a video of that, but uh, you know, there's lots of lots of videos reviewing this controller, so that's not a uh, not necessarily something I'm going to do per se, just showing you that I got it, I guess. So, And then in here, uh, this was an order I placed. I found a pretty good deal on this. It's a N64 console. It's the regular black one. Four controllers. They're in, you know, not the greatest of shape. Uh, let's see. Is this the one? No, this one's not. The other one's like kind of cracked a little bit, but I definitely got some serious yellowing to it. It's, it's, so does this one. Not as bad. Uh, it's a little, got a little damage down there. So, but that's not not the matter. These are uh, very, they're very affordable overall. So uh, even if they just get some good parts out of them, that'll be good enough for me. Value wise, and this one's got some sticker residue on it or something. I think except for the crack, the rest of them should really be cleaned up pretty good. This is a Japanese console, and I'm assuming that uh, I don't think this is a custom-made one. I think this is the the Mario Kart pack-in controller. So uh, again, nothing real special about that. You could very easily make one of these two with parts in hand. So, but again, it's in salvageable condition. I would say. Got uh, official AV cables, official power supply. And the console itself, which is in okay condition, uh, it did come with an expansion pack as well. So once again, it's a pretty good, a pretty good deal overall. The the price per item, if you broke all this down, uh, this is a good, a good lot. Missing the bottom cover. This thing is supposed to work. Uh, everything, everything in the lot is supposed to work. It's just kind of dirty or whatever. This console's got some like. Looks like some burn marks on it or something. I don't know if it was in like a house fire or if some of this random tweaker burned it with a torch or something. I, I don't know. But it's, it's definitely heat. Like, it got like, I imagine pretty hot actually, the plastic to deform like that because it's pretty tough stuff, like fiber reinforced, you know. Um, it's a Japanese console, so it will only fit Japanese games at the moment until that gets modified. So I haven't tested any of this out yet. I'm just kind of. Uh, Showing you what came in the box. Uh, Super Mario 64. That is the Shindu version, Rumble Pack version. So that's kind of cool, I guess. And I got Mario Tennis and Mario Golf. Not a bad bundle of three games. Those are some of my three favorite. And then uh, this is definitely something that caught my eye when I was looking at the lot. This is a controller. Uh, controller pack obviously and this specifically was the pack-in controller pack for uh, Wonder Project J2 Which I do have a complete in box of that and it does have a regular controller pack because it didn't come with this one So I can kind of complete that that part of my collection too. just uh, Again something that caught my eye and uh, buying this by itself. I think it's about 30 bucks 30 to 40 bucks or so so uh, again the price per item on all this was um uh, very affordable, so whether I keep it for my collection or uh, uh, resell some of it, uh, I think I've got got a pretty good deal here. So I might try to get some video of uh, testing some of this stuff out. <laughs> So here's the, here's the game I was talking about. I said it is a complete in box. This game looks really graphically amazing. I, I wish that there was a uh, an English release of it, but there simply is not. I don't know if they've made a. Uh, I imagine there's someone that's at least started on a fan translation. Uh, you could you know download if you had an EverDrive or whatever. But so yeah, like I said, just had a generic memory card in here. So now we'll have the matching one. So that would be a nice little, nice little completion to that, that part of the collection there. Yeah. By the way, this uh, just as a funny note, this this lot of stuff, all this, uh, you know, it, uh, if you 
and take a whiff of it. It has an undeniable, it was in someone's basement. I'm telling you that much right now. Like it, it has a, I've, I've only been in a few basements uh, where I live. It's not real common to, to have them. And I imagine a basement around here might not have that smell, but I can tell you for sure that is from a Midwestern basement and uh, it's actually from Canada, but it is Canada in the Midwest. So it's interesting that the, the smell is the same. It is uh, unmistakable. Uh, I can tell you that right now, but just a funny little note there. So yeah, this is, uh, I hope we go put this back on the shelf now. Dug around in my spare parts closet a bit and was able to come up with that extension port cover. So I wanted to get that on there as soon as possible, even before I started testing anything. All right, got it plugged into the trusty old CRT here. These handy front plugs. Yeah, looking good. Don't have a controller plugged in. I guess it would be prudent to test those as well, but I kind of wanted to do the first thing here. Yeah, audio sounds good, video looks good. Like I said, this is the Shindu or Rumble Pack version, Super Mario 64, which is a Japan exclusive. Alright, controller bundle plugged in there. Pop in some Mario Tennis. I don't think there's any notable differences between the Japanese and US versions of uh, either this or Mario Golf. If there is, uh, again, I can't, can't certainly can't remember off the top of my head. But, uh, 